Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil and in this few JS video tutorial we will see that how we can use the delete API and delete the record from the database with the help of API. So I already have the two APIs. This is my get API to get the all results from the user. Here you can see that we have the some around five results. And after that, this is the delete API. Here I just want to use we just have to use a delete record and we have to pass the user id for delete right and it will just delete the record so these are the methods or these are the points that we are just going to use in this video first of all we will fetch the data from the users list and we will show it on the tip in the table format then we will make a function and on a button click we will delete the api and simultaneously we will just remove the record from the our current uh display table also all right so now let's see how we can do it first of all i need a component so i am just going to make a users dot view this is my component name and here simply as you know for the component we have to just make a simple template so just you can write here users component right and here we can just write a script name can be uh, users right and uh, now let's import it inside the app so just use here import uh, users from and here we can just put here components and then users right and here we can just register this users component here and that's just put it inside the patch it inside the html so here you can see that the component is imported now let's uh, just integrate the get api first of all and uh, before that i'm just going to make some defined functions like data function here we will define the properties and we need uh, initial level properties first of all let's say i'm just going to put the my property name is users and by default value is null then i am just going to define the methods property and here we will define all the methods that we need all right so i am just going to make a method get data and just we have to call the api here and as you know for api calling we are using the axios uh, apis so if you just want to know about the detail about the axios then you can watch for a previous video in this video i am just going to tell you the overviews uh, even this is the enough thing i think first of all we have to just install this axios and view axios then we just have to uh, use these four lines and we are able to use uh, anything about the uh, axios apis all right so it's pretty simple and how we can use a delete api i will i will tell you all right so after just using this we can uh, just call here this dot axios dot get right and here we have to pass the url of api so this is my get api so just copy this url and simply paste it here and then we have to use the then because we have to resolve the promise and here result parameter will provide result parameter oh, was wrong with my hands now fine so it will just provide the all result console dot let's try it with the console dot one or console dot log just right here results all right and uh, what is that is not defined why it's not defined because we have to just use like this all right because this is a property not the method and now let's uh, call this get method on a mount lifecycle method mounted lifecycle method so just use here this dot get data all right and you will see that we got the data inside the console and here you can see that we got the data all right five data status and all so now just assign this data to the users property right so just put here result dot data 
it's not Terra, it's data. And now let's use a for loop. And with the for loop, I am just going to use a table here. And let's just make a border to the table, one pixel. Um, like this. Now just use the TR and use a 4TD for the name. And uh, then for email address and all. So just write here email address and action. Fair enough. We don't need the next one. Okay, so what actually we got? We got the header here. So now just make the loop of this TR here. Why I need make the uh, loop? Because uh, to iterate the all users here, all right? So just go here and just simply write here uh, a, a, a V minus four, mm -hmm. V four is a V directive. What's wrong with it? Uh -oh. Yep, my bad. Actually, I cannot use the loop here. I have to just use the loop in the opening bracket, not on the closing. So just write here V4 and here we have to use here user in users and just use here v minus bind and what we have to bind we have to bind the key so just use here user dot id that's perfect now you will see that this is the repeated thing now let's change this name with the user dot name and just here user dot email uh, then user dot address and here let's make a button okay let's make a button like this and uh, just right here delete but we got here we got the button here but nothing is on the click of the button so let's call a function on a button click so just right here v on click and my function name is uh, let's say delete user right and here we will pass the user id so user id in the user dot id key all right so here let's define the delete user and id will be here and now we have to call here this dot axios dot delete and here we have to pass the api url so here you can see that this is my api url but the id id in the last should be the dynamic all right so i am just putting here plus id then uh, let's copy this all things so that uh, we can do it very quickly like this right and we don't need uh, any result or kind of things so i can just remove it for a moment and uh, just write here uh, this dot get data right so that when the user is deleted then the this api is called again and refresh the user right so we just have to use here comma i think i think there is some problem okay so even we can just remove it i think still it will work fine okay so i'm just going to delete a john and then you will see that there is a two api will be called one for the delete and second for the reloading the result again so let's delete the john you will see that the id7 is deleted and the user is called again and uh, now all result is come back all right so now let's say i just want to delete the first rocky user also so let's delete it id5 has been deleted with the delete api method and again this is called the uh, get api called again all right so this is the way that how you can just delete the record from the 
uh, your database with the help of API. So if you still have any kind of confusion, you can ask me in the comment box. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video. Bye bye. Take care.